Champion Cooling Systems, proud to be a supplier for the officially licensed Yanko Continuation Camaros. Up next, the team focuses on keeping the engine cool, and we take you to California to see where this Yanko's cooling system was designed and made. Welcome back to Tulsa. Keeping this 600 horsepower engine cool is critical. That's why the team at Brand New Muscle Car turned to Champion Cooling in California. The cool thing about Champion Cooling is they literally not only have a cooling solution for pretty much everything, they will make anything. And in our business, where we're building custom cars and we're storing all kinds of wild stuff, we can call them, give them the dimensions, and they'll make us a cooling system. And it'll be just as high quality and work just as well as their off-the-shelf stuff for Ford, Chevy, Chrysler, you name it. Their service is off the charts, people are great, they're just fantastic. Champion Cooling Systems was founded on the principle that we needed an affordable radiator and you couldn't find it anywhere, and that spawned the entire business. We've been in business about a decade, making aluminum radiators for classic cars and trucks dating back nearly 100 years. Our radiators are affordable, so the guy that's the do-it-yourselfer, the guy that wants to work on his own car at home, that can't afford necessarily to go out to a shop to pay the big money, he can buy our radiator, spend a couple hundred dollars, get a nice affordable aluminum radiator, and it's guaranteed for life. A lot of times we get customers that say, well, I can go out to Amazon or I can go out to eBay and I can buy a radiator for about $170. The problem with that is they're just a universal radiator, so they're not going to mount into your car the way ours will. Ultimately, you're going to be spending a lot more money, so when you start adding up the price of the radiator, the time you spend building the brackets, uh, the hardware, adding the fans, adding the relay kits, you're going to be spending a lot more money. We can provide a package that's affordable. One of our typical customers is somebody that's trying to find a radiator for their car. They can't find it anywhere, so if they want to take it to a shop and get it recorded, they're looking at a few hundred dollars. We've had people come in and say, it's, it's $900 to rebuild my original radiator. So what we can do is, if we don't have one that's going to be a direct bolt into their car, we can create a radiator that's going to fit into their car. We want our customers to know that they've got a quality product, so we make sure that the materials are up to our standards. If it's not, we might have to start all over again. But it's very important to us because it matters to us what our customers think. We have a lot of people that will speak highly of our radiators because they have them in their cars and they know that they work. So if you come to us as a customer, we're going to treat you like a customer for life. You're not a number, you're not somebody that comes in, we sell you a radiator, you go away. We have that lifetime warranty. So if you have any problems or any concerns about your radiator, you come back and you talk to us and our sales staff will take care of you. Without our customers, we wouldn't be here. You're not a number, you are the reason we are in business. Hmm. That's bad the other way. Yeah. All right, well, let me go see what I can find. Okay. Every car gives you a different problem to solve. Uh, most of it is you just have to be willing to adapt. If you run into a hard stop on a part, you either go down to the parts store, you run down to O'Reilly's, or you dig out the parts catalog, or in some instances, you have to make it. Well, they're not out here, so I'll probably have to go look in the uh, back in the back room. Well, Richard's gone, we're gonna try and install a lower radiator hose, but since it's long on both ends, we're gonna cut it down to size to be a perfect fit. All right, let's see. If we have one, it's gonna be in here. Door seals, windshield seals, weather strip, no radiator hose. <sighs> Need to trim more. Hey, David. What's up? Uh, radiator hose number one does not work. It's, it's close, but it's not going to work, so I'm going to go and see if I can find the correct one. Well, the first one never fits, right? No, they never fit right. Okay, I'm going to go down to O'Reilly's and see if I can get the right one and make it work. All right, man. David said you need a hose? Yep, that one won't work. Oh, let's try that one. It looks like it might work. I got one too many bins in this one, so this one should work. Thanks. Well, good luck. See you. You're welcome. See you later. Okay. Hey, Omar, I think I got a radiator hose that'll work now. Right around the altar. 
fucking job. Next week. I got saying it won't start on the first one. Oh, it will start. It will start. <laughs> it's time to bring this all new 69 Yango Camaro to life. Okay. Down. Oh, no. no, no, not no, yet? No. Okay, then tilt it some more. Did you make a mistake? Wait. Tony, come on. Hey, let me see, let me see. Right over here, Bob. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at this.